The next one is is by Oscar Hammerstein and Jerome Kern. It's called The Last Time I Saw Paris. And this is very melodic. It's a really good song. And um, if you remember Gershwin's American in Paris, they use actually in the orchestra the taxi horns going bum 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 There's a whole story about that that people realized in recent years, you can find an article if you Google about it, that the pitches of the horns that people have been using, they interpreted it wrong from what the original horns were. And now they've gone back and they do the horns. At some places they do it the way they think it was originally done. But the only reason I mention it for this is even in the introduction of this on the piano, it uses that, that issue, that the horns. And then in the middle section, he talks about the taxi horns. So you, I mean, he had to have been thinking of an American in Paris. I mean, because that's so memorable in there, but it works great in this song. And this, this is, this is unusual in a way if it's from 1940. I mean, I don't know history well enough to know what, when did the Germans take over? Did they take over France? I know they entered Poland in 39, but I don't know exa the exact year that they took over France. But this is sort of eerie if you were if if this was before the the Germans took over. The last time I saw Paris. The last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. I heard the laughter of her heart in every street cafe. The last time I saw Paris, her trees were dressed for spring, and lovers walked beneath the trees, and birds found songs to sing. I dodged the same old taxi cabs that I had dodged for years. The chorus of their squeaky horns was music to my ears. The last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. No matter how they change her, I'll remember her that way. Matter how they change. 